Hello everyone, and this video is a bit late, but I just wanted to talk give my quick reaction and opinions about the Batman vs Superman trailer that released a couple of days ago. I mixed opinions on this to be honest. On one side, I think it was a good trailer. On the other side, they did do a couple of things that they shouldn't have done. So let's start with the bad. First of all, Doomsday. He looks a bit strange, if that is Doomsday at all. I'm not quite sure if it's Doomsday yet, but if it is, he looks a bit strange, but it's not as bad as some people make out to be. I still, I can I can deal with the look. Like, it's not like a deal breaker for me. But the main thing that I would think, the biggest problem that they did with this trailer was, so in, they saw too much. I feel like they just saw a bit too much. And uh, it's not just them, it's not just their fault. A lot of people do the, do the same thing these days with trailers. For some reason, the, the age we live in, Trailers just give way near the entire movie you now. There's no like surprise where he left over. And I'm sure there is going to be some surprises left in Batman vs Superman. But uh, this really sort of calmed down with the amount of footage they saw in this trailer. But with that being said, I would wait. Let's get to the good stuff. And with the good stuff, by God, it was great. Some of my favourite moments. One of them was seeing Batman, Wonder Woman and Superman all standing there together. I was like, it's so amazing that we're finally getting to see these three characters appear in a live action movie on screen we have been waiting years upon years upon years to finally see this happen and it is awesome that we're finally going to witness it another thing i love the kind of the banter between batman and superman as in their identities clark kent and bruce wayne where like batman says to bruce to clark kent this city has i believe it was like either got him or this city hasn't had luck with people who like to dress up as clones i was like what See, that's the type of stuff I want. I want that type of, like, just conversation between two kind of, like, hit sides or that build up the tension before they actually get to throw down against each other. And the entire trailer was like that. It sold a lot of great stuff. And, and honestly, I am, it's made me more excited for the movie. Yeah, it sold a bit too much, but I'm still pumped to see this movie. And everything in the trailer that I saw besides Doomsday's look was pretty awesome. And this is probably this is going to be a controversial opinion, but for me, I like the way Jesse Eisenberg is portraying Luthor. I know he's playing his son, and he's playing a younger Luthor, but for the, what he's doing, I quite enjoy it. I, I think he was quite I think he's quite funny in the trailer, honestly. And I think I think it's going to be the way I think this character is going to grow in terms of like the movie. I think he's going to start off being funny, kind of like cocky. Then he's going to develop into the rootless guy that we know. Either way, I'm really looking forward to the movie. I just wanted to give my quick opinion. Overall, I think the movie's going to be awesome. I'm pumped for it. Yeah, the trailer sort a bit too much, and Doomsday looks a bit iffy if, if that is Doomsday. But other than that, the trailer was awesome. It saw that there's going to be humour in the film. It's not just going to be all doom and gloom, but of course, there's going to be your favourite amount of doom and gloom. But so sort of that, that's what that makes the movie interesting. It, it's what gives it weight, and I'm really pumped up to see it. And I can't wait to see all these big icons from DC just class. That's all I wanted to say. So as always, I hope you're all pumped for the movie. And as always, if you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.